Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna make a chilled house track only using the Korg M1. It's gonna be a really cool challenge because it just has so many cool sounds in it. Okay, enough talking, let's jump straight in to the project. So I want to go for more chilled vibe, so I'm going to change the tempo of the, the, the track to maybe like 1 18th BPM. Then we're going to load up the Korg M1. Okay, so I found this e-piano sound and I think we're going to make some chords with this. Okay, so I cheated a little bit and imported a MIDI clip that I used in a previous session. This is in D minor. We have something like this. Like super mellow, that's what we're going for. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to this one. Nice. So I think I'm gonna try to find some kind of bell mallet sound. Okay, this marimba sound is pretty cool. So I think I'm just gonna jam something on my MIDI keyboard and just see how it takes us. So I think like that last part was pretty cool. So it needs some quantization. And then I might need to do some minor changes here just to make this a little bit more interesting. Something like that. Okay, so we have a really cool mallet sound here. So I wanna add a little bit of extra delay Pretty cool. I think I'm gonna try to add a little bit of EQ. So removing a little bit of the top end because I want a more washed out, watery kind of sound. Like already these two sounds are sounding amazing together. Let's hunt for some more sounds. Okay, so I think it's time to find a synth pad. Okay, this one is pretty cool. I'm gonna try this one. So duplicate the chords. It just sits really nicely in the background together with the other elements. I wanna add a little bit of chorus to the sound. And also a little bit of auto banning from the save box. Pretty nice. Okay, so I think it's time for us to find a bass sound. Okay, so I found this pretty simple pluggy bass. And I'm just gonna try to play a rhythm on my MIDI keyboard. Pretty cool. Just gonna quantize this. Then I'm just gonna make this one follow the root note of the chords. These notes a little bit longer here. So I want to add a little bit of EQ boost to this bass. And remove the top end. Then add a little bit of tape saturation. And then we're going to limit the bass a little bit so we can push it a little bit more. Really amazing. We're definitely not done looking for sounds. So right now I'm gonna add some counter melodies or something. I think we're gonna go for a lead. Okay, so I found this really cool sound. So I'm just gonna try to record some weird stuff. I think like this really simple pattern actually worked. Quantize everything. just a really mellow kind of thing to put in the background. It just sounds really cool. This one leads, needs a little bit of distortion from the decapitator. Then we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup with the EQ.
this is starting to sound really mellow in my opinion. We need more sounds. Maybe we could try some woodwinds actually. Okay, we need a pan flute. So we almost get like a tropical house vibe. I'm just gonna jam something and see if it works. Let's record. Just really, really subtle. I think I nailed it. I'm not sure if I nailed it. I think I need this part over here. Let's see how... Definitely need some, some quantization. I think here it needs to go down. Then we of course need this to change as well. I think this is actually the riff. Sick vibes. Just doing like small minor changes to the pattern over here just so it changes a little bit more. I think I'm gonna transform this pan flute a little bit crazy because we want to add some vibes. So I'm looking up the RC20. Magical. I think I'm gonna try to find some chord steps that we can add. Okay, so I found this really cool sound. I'm gonna try to do some chord steps. So now I've recorded like the rhythm. I'm just gonna try to change them so they fit the notes, the, the chords that we made. I'm just gonna put this one up here, this one down. And then we're just gonna copy these across. I'm gonna change this here. That is another chord. The vibes are insane, in my opinion. This needs a little bit of EQ. And also a phaser. Okay, so the last melodic element from the Korkin one might be some kind of high sound, a high string or something, just to add a little bit of tension. So let's see if we can find something that's like a little bit of... Yeah, this one is cool. I need to turn up the volume a little bit here. Sound needs a little bit of curse. Some distortion from the decapitator. Okay, so we have all of the melodic elements. Now I'm just gonna route them through an instrument bus to add a little bit of compression and EQ. I'm gonna highlight all of my melodic elements and route to this track. I'm gonna add a little bit of bus compression. Then I'm gonna fix some of the harsh frequencies with the Sooth 2. And then this tape machine to add a little bit of analog grid. Vibes, we need to add some drums now. So we have this kick drum here. This clap. We're gonna add a little bit of ghost notes. I'm gonna quantize this. Then we have these hi hats. We also need an open hi hat. Then randomize the panning here so we get a little bit of movement in the stereo field. And then this tambourine. Then this shaker loop. And then we're gonna send our drums to a drum bus. Here we also add Sooth 2 to remove resonant frequencies. Add a soft limiter. Some bus compression. 
and then also this tape machine plugin. And we want to crank up the saturation. Okay, so now our drum loop is done. Let's play together with the sounds that we created in the Cork M1 plugin. So Melo, we only need two more things to add some more texture to this track. The first thing is a field recording from a restaurant. Just placing this in the background. Then we need a simple crash and a simple transition. So this is actually the beat made out of Cork M1 sounds. Take a listen. Simply amazing. If you want to get your hands on these sounds, you can download the Apple Studio project in the description down below. I'm gonna leave the stems and the MIDI and of course the project file. So just download that and you can maybe finish this track, remix it or do whatever you want to. That could be really cool. And don't forget to send me the results. I would love to hear them. You can actually join my Discord and send it in there. There's also a link for the Discord in the description down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, it means so much to me if you smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any future videos on the channel. As always, if you want to support this channel, you can go and grab some of my sample packs and preset packs on my webshop. The link is in the description down below. So I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.